Want to set sail without sinking your wallet? Today we're diving deep into the ocean of budget cruise hacks. Imagine the salty sea breeze on your face, the endless horizon stretching out before you, and the rhythmic lull of the waves, all without the worry of breaking the bank. In this journey we'll navigate through 10 astounding hacks that will make your cruise dream a reality without draining your savings. From the secret of booking at the right time, choosing the right ship, to making the most of port terminals, we've got you covered. We'll guide you through exploring ports independently, booking repositioning cruises, and even how to make the most of that embarkation lunch. We'll also touch on cruise loyalty programs, resident and senior discounts, cruise critic meet and mingles, and how to score those coveted specialty dining promotions. So, ready to save money while cruising? Let's dive into our first hack. Timing is everything when it comes to booking your cruise. You see, cruise lines release their itineraries well in advance, often up to two years before departure. Booking early not only guarantees you a spot but also allows you to pick your ideal cabin location, and it often comes with early bird discounts. For instance, a family of four managed to save a whopping 20% off their Caribbean cruise simply by booking a year in advance. On the flip side, if you're flexible with your travel plans, booking last minute can also yield significant savings. Cruise lines are eager to fill up unsold cabins close to the departure date, so they slash prices. A couple from California once scored a seven-night Mexican Riviera cruise for $400 per person instead of the usual $1,000, just by booking two weeks prior to departure. So, be strategic about when you book your cruise. Don't get lured by the glitz and glamour of new ships. It's easy to be dazzled by the latest cruise liners, with their state-of-the-art amenities and cutting-edge designs, but let's not overlook the charm and allure of older vessels. These seasoned sailors often offer the same if not better experiences for a fraction of the cost. Take for instance the Majesty of the Seas from Royal Caribbean. Despite being in service for nearly three decades, she boasts a rock climbing wall, a casino and even a Broadway style theater. Or consider the Carnival Fantasy, one of the oldest in Carnival's fleet. She may not have a roller coaster on deck like the newer ships, but she makes up for it with unique features like a water park and a mini golf course. And let's not forget the added advantage of fewer crowds, as these ships typically have a smaller capacity. So, don't dismiss the charm of older ships. They offer a unique charm and value that can make your cruise experience even more memorable. Stay connected without breaking the bank. Now, we all love to share our travel adventures with our friends and family, but Wi-Fi on a cruise ship can be notoriously expensive. So, here's a savvy trick. Use port terminals for your internet needs. Many modern port terminals offer free or inexpensive Wi-Fi. For instance, the port terminal at Cozumel, Mexico is renowned for its reliable and affordable internet services. Similarly, if you're cruising to the Mediterranean, the port terminal at Barcelona, Spain provides free Wi-Fi, allowing you to catch up on emails or post those stunning cruise snapshots on Instagram. This tactic does require a bit of planning. Before setting sail, research the ports on your itinerary to find out which ones offer Wi-Fi. You might even find local cafes or restaurants near the port that provide free Wi-Fi to their customers, so you can enjoy a local delicacy while you surf the web. Remember, you can always update your socials when you dock. Ditch the tour group and explore on your own. This is our fourth hack to experience a cruise vacation without sinking your wallet. Exploring ports independently isn't just about saving money, it's about creating a unique personalized adventure. Without the constraints of a pre-planned tour, you're free to discover hidden gems and interact with locals, immersing yourself in the culture in a way that's simply not possible when you're part of a larger group. For instance, consider the experience of Sarah, a seasoned traveler from Minnesota. On her cruise to the Caribbean, she decided to explore the ports on her own. She discovered a quaint little beachside cafe in St. Lucia that wasn't on any tour itinerary. There she enjoyed a delicious local meal at a fraction of the cost of the ship's excursion meals. So, remember, you're not just a tourist, you're an explorer. Grab a map, lace up your walking shoes and create your own adventure. Ever heard of repositioning cruises? These are trips where cruise ships sail between different regions, typically at the change of seasons. They're relocating from, say, Alaska in summer to the Caribbean in winter, or from the Mediterranean in summer to the Middle East in winter, what's the catch? Well, there isn't one. These cruises need passengers and to attract them they offer significantly reduced rates. Take a repositioning cruise from Miami to Barcelona for example. It's a transatlantic journey filled with endless ocean views and starlit nights, often at half the price of regular cruises. 
Another advantage is the duration. Repositioning cruises typically last longer than standard ones, often two weeks or more. Imagine two weeks of relaxation, entertainment, and indulgence for a fraction of the usual cost. Of course, you'll need to arrange a flight back, but with the savings from the cruise, it's a small price to pay. Repositioning cruises an offbeat path to big savings. Don't miss the embarkation lunch. Now, you may be wondering why is this so important? Well, here's the deal. Many cruise lines include a welcome or embarkation lunch as part of your ticket price. It's an opportunity to enjoy a feast without dipping into your pocket. Here's a real-life example. On a sunny day in the Mediterranean, a couple set sail on their first cruise. They attended the embarkation lunch and were treated to a smorgasbord of cuisines. From fresh seafood to sizzling steaks and an array of desserts, they dined like royalty. And the best part? It didn't cost them an extra dime. Not only is the embarkation lunch a chance to indulge without spending more, it's also a great opportunity to meet fellow passengers and start your journey on a sociable note. So, next time you cruise, take advantage of this little-known hack. So, start your cruise on a full stomach and a full wallet. Loyalty pays off, especially on cruises. Much like airlines and hotels, most cruise lines have loyalty programs that reward frequent cruisers with money-saving perks and exclusive benefits. Let's dive into a few examples. Take Royal Caribbean's Crown and Anchor Society, for instance. This program offers discounts on amenities and excursions, priority check-in, and even complimentary drinks. The more you cruise, the more benefits you unlock. Then there's Carnival's VIFP Club. Short for Very Important Fun Person, this program offers members priority boarding, members-only offers, and exclusive parties. Even as a first-time cruiser with Carnival, you're eligible for members-only deals. Norwegian Cruise Line's Latitudes Rewards program is another great example. It provides a slew of benefits like complimentary dinners at specialty restaurants, free internet minutes, and even onboard credit. These are just a few examples of how cruise loyalty programs can save you money. So, before you book your next cruise, do some research and sign up for these programs. Remember, loyalty programs are your ticket to exclusive savings. Are you a resident or a senior? You could be in for a treat. Many cruise lines offer special discounts for residents of certain regions or for senior citizens. This is a little-known hack that could save you some serious dough. For instance, if you live in Florida, you might get a discounted rate on Caribbean cruises. Or if you're from Alaska, you could avail of a lower price for Alaskan voyages. These resident discounts are a way for cruise lines to fill up their cabins, especially during off-peak seasons. Senior discounts, on the other hand, are a way to honor those of a certain age, usually starting from 55 or 60. These discounts could be anywhere from a few percentage points off your fare to a significant reduction, depending on the cruise line and the specific voyage. Always remember to ask about these discounts when booking your cruise. It's not always advertised, but it's definitely worth checking out. So, don't forget to check for discounts you might be eligible for. Join the community, make friends, and save money. Now how does this work, you might wonder? Well, it's simple. Let's dive into Hack 9, Utilize Cruise Critic Meet and Mingles. Cruise Critic is an online forum where cruise enthusiasts gather to share tips, experiences, and even organize onboard get-togethers known as Meet and Mingles. These gatherings are a goldmine for budget-savvy travelers. You get insider knowledge, first-hand experiences, and a community that supports your budget cruising efforts. Imagine this, you're on a cruise, sipping your morning coffee, and a fellow cruiser you met at a meet and mingle shares a tip about a hidden gem of a restaurant at the next port. Not only is it authentic local cuisine but it's also friendly on the wallet. That's the power of this community. So whether you're a seasoned cruiser or a first-timer, joining these gatherings can lead to significant savings. Remember, the best advice often comes from those who've walked the path before you. So, socialize your way to savings. Craving for gourmet dining on a budget? Well, you're in luck. Our 10th hack is all about watching for specialty dining promotions. Cruise lines often offer special dining packages or promotions that can significantly reduce the cost of eating at their upscale establishments. For example, some cruise lines offer a dine around package, which allows you to sample meals from a variety of specialty restaurants at a discounted rate. Others might offer a wine and dine deal, which pairs a bottle of wine with a gourmet meal, all for one low price. But the savings don't stop there. Occasionally, cruise lines will run promotions where they offer discounted or even complimentary specialty dining as a booking incentive. So, before you book your cruise, keep an eye out for these deals. They could save you a bundle and allow you to enjoy a gourmet meal without breaking the bank. A great dining experience doesn't have to come with a hefty price tag. 
10 hacks to cruise on a budget, let's do a quick recap. Booking early or last minute can help you snag the best deals, while choosing older ships can offer a more budget-friendly option. Don't forget to use port terminals for Wi-Fi to save on those hefty onboard internet charges. Exploring ports on your own not only cuts costs, but also allows for a personalized experience. Booking repositioning cruises is another great hack, offering unique itineraries at a fraction of the cost. Remember to attend the embarkation lunch, a hidden gem that's often overlooked. Loyalty programs can offer a myriad of benefits and don't forget to check for resident and senior discounts. Engage with the cruising community through Cruise Critic Meet and Mingles, and always keep an eye out for specialty dining promotions. Set sail without sinking your wallet and remember, a budget cruise doesn't mean compromising on experiences. We hope you found these budget cruise hacks helpful. Now it's your turn to try them out on your next cruise. Remember, the journey is part of the adventure, and with these hacks, you can make it an affordable one. If you found this video informative and helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. We're always looking to help you make the most out of your travel budget. Don't forget to subscribe to Budget Ventures for more budget travel tips and hacks. We've got a world of budget-friendly adventures waiting for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to Budget Ventures. Happy cruising!